This video is going to discuss how to set up custom events and notifications in Origami. Let's take a look at how this is done. To set up a custom event, you go to the Admin section. Assuming you have the appropriate rights, you click the Data Entry Events link. I don't have any set up yet, so let's set one up. To create a new one, of course, I click the New Event button. First, you have to define the event you're looking for. Events can happen on claims, incidents, locations, or policies, and they can be triggered when different things happen. I'd like to create an event that's going to notify me if there's a multiple head injury claim. So we'll leave the area as claims, and we'll leave claim is added and claim is edited checked. Well, you'll notice you can also create events on payments, reserves, and status changes. We need to create the condition for this event. Right now, it's for all claims. Well, that's a little goofy. Let's filter this down to multiple head injury claims. I click the Edit Filters link. Select Body Part is equal to multiple head injury. Click Apply Filter, and there you have it. You'll notice by default, the When Editing trigger this event only when the condition first applies checkbox is checked. What that means is, if I'm editing a multiple head injury claim and I change something else, this event will not fire. If I'm editing a claim that has no body part and I change it to multiple head injury, this event will fire. And we give the event a description and some explanatory comments if necessary. There's also an is active flag, which is handy if you have an event that you need to turn off but you don't actually want to delete. But of course, for now, we'll leave that set to yes. So I save the changes here, and I have my first event. Now an event by itself is useless. The event has to trigger some actions. In origami, an event can trigger a new task or a new email. In this case, I like both. Let's do the task first. I just like to create a follow-up task so that 30 days after this multiple head injury claim is created, we're going to make sure we've followed up. Now you'll notice on the right, there is a list of valid tags that can be added to the body or the description of the task. These are data elements from the thing in the event, in this case, the claim. You can put these tags anywhere in the text and Origami will replace them with the appropriate data. So for example, by typing this, the body of the task will say, make sure you have followed up on this claim, claimant Joe Smith, claim number 12345, or whatever the appropriate data actually is. Now the due date is when you want this task due. I don't want to bake in a date because I don't know exactly when this event's going to happen. I want it to be relative. I, if I want this to happen 30 days from when the event triggers, simple, just do plus 30. Who do I want to assign it to? By default, it's the user triggering the, the event. Often that's a good default, and in this case, I'll leave it. You could also pick a specific person. And finally, by default, Origami will link the task to the claim, or whatever, is triggering the event. That's usually what you want, and I'll leave it checked in this case. And again, you have an is active flag for the individual actions. So if you ever wanted to disable one action temporarily, you can do that without deleting the entire action. So we've created our task, so let's save that. Now, I'd like an email action. In this case, I want to get the email. So I'm going to type my own email address. I'm not going to CC anyone. And again, the subject and body can use tags. With email, there's one particularly cool tag that you can use. The URL link tag means that Origami will put a link to this actual task. So that when I receive the email, I can just click on the link and it'll take me directly to that task, after logging in, of course. And if that's enough, I click the Save Change buttons, and we now have an event with two actions associated. So, let's see what happens. Go to Claims, click the New Claim button, and here I'll enter the bare minimum to trigger this event. So you see I entered the bare minimum, but I did make sure that the body part was multiple head injury. Let's click Save Changes and see what happens. So we see the claim saved, but you might notice that in the upper right, under Open Tasks, it says there aren't any. Hmm, shouldn't there be one? Well, because an event may have many, many actions, Origami queues them up. So the events and emails will get processed in the background after the save. In fact, if I click Refresh right now, 
you see the task that was created. And if I check my email, you see that I just received an email with the link that will take me directly to that client. That's how easy it is to create events and custom actions in Origami Risk.